Hi, I'm Jules. Welcome to my basement studio sanctuary here in the Blue Ridge Mountains. If this is your first time, I'm so glad to have you here. And if you've been here many times, I'm so glad you have chosen to stick around <laughs> with me through quite a journey. So thank you for being here. This painting is called Welcome to the Party. So welcome to the party. So my birthday is February 2nd and maybe that energy might be somewhat in this painting. Um, feels like it's full of celebration energy and kind of like a garden party. So I wanted to share a little bit of its story and its magic and its medicine with you if that interests you. <laughs> It's been a blessing for me to create, a joy for me to create, and so I trust that it's magic and it's joy is not just for me, that it flowed through me, but that it is for us, for you and me, or maybe not you, but somebody else and me, <laughs> not just me alone. Doesn't feel like that. There's more than one cup here at the party. <laughs> So this one has these fun cup shapes that was inspired, I was reminded about that shape. I saw something similar in someone else's painting and it reminded me of a painting I did years ago called The Medicine Collector. And she is, it's like an offering bowl that she is both giving and receiving medicine that she collects from you know various uh, cultures, traditions, and people. So that's what inspired this shape. And I ended up adding several of them. I started with just one, and now it reminds me of a champagne glass, like it's saying cheers, and it reminds me of garden parties that we had in my parents' garden in the Keys. It was a beautiful tropical garden, and the night before my wedding, we had a pre-party there and many other family gatherings after I had kids and holidays and Thanksgivings and my mom's memorial was also held there. So, wow, lots of, <laughs> lots of things, has a lot in it. I didn't expect to get emotional. I am a little bit, hmm. Anyway, um, deep breath. <laughs> That has celebration. We had a, the celebration of her life there. So one of them, we had two. Anyway, um, so it has a lot of happy celebration energy, which is what she wanted that to be about. New beginnings and maybe full cycles and circles might also be represented within it that I didn't even pick up until just, just now sharing it with you that, um, that aspect but anyway there's a lot of playful fun stuff in here and she was pretty playful too <laughs> so this um shape here being is kind of a botanical being it reminds me of a conversation we had in my homeschool group with my kids and another family she said she wished the mom said she wished she could photosynthesize like plants that we you know had had evolved be able to do that and not need to eat. That kind of reminds me of that conversation because it it's it is like it has a hand here and I didn't do this on purpose. This was a happy accident. The where I put the cup shape and then drew the thing, it kind of looks like it's holding it as a champagne like the plant is holding a champagne glass and saying cheers or salud, which is to health, which I love even that much more. So it has joy energy and cheerful joy and healthy vitality energy in salud <laughs> and celebration and um, abundance and plentiful, uh, you know, uh, like prosperity in the garden. And it also has that full cycle, circle, mystery in it. And it had a little kind of moon-like shape here, so it always had that. And this fun, this was kind of like a cocoon or a seed pod when it first was placed there. And that was inspired by another, another muse online who I saw one of her paintings and another painting of mine that I didn't even recognize. 
until I had the shape in this one and it inspired the little flower within it. My favorite part of this painting, which was a full moon painting, is um, that flower in that shape there. And so that inspired me to add that same shape in this one. And that made it more my own. So I love integrating inspiration that in that way, mingling it and, you know, like there could be aspects from someone else's um, photographs or art or stories or songs and movies, any of that, and memories. And then our own and they all come and they all sing in harmony together. They dance together on the canvas and in the painting and I love that. That's part of what makes it so fun and and healthy and nourishing to me is that it's not just for me. It is and it's not just inspired by me. It is a collective um, voice and song. It reminds me of the song One Voice by Waylon Jennings. I don't know if you're familiar with that one um, but it talks about this is the sound of one voice and it's the sound of all of us together um, singing and living and thriving in harmony. So this has all that energy in it. Welcome to the party. And I was working on it around the same time that my cousin was having a baby shower for the newest member of my family. And so even the title Welcome to the Party could have to do with that energy because I was thinking about that at the time as well. So much energy in it. And um, medicine and magic in it to me and so I don't know if you feel that I wonder how much of that you feel I shared a picture of it online with it um, sitting in my porch swing outside because it felt fitting for a garden party kind of feel and definitely a lot of people seem to resonate with it I wonder what it might say to you and um, how you feel how it makes you feel and yeah Anyway, it reminds me kind of a little bit Dr. Seuss-ish. There's some fun little like this I didn't do on purpose, very playful, where it looks like that little subtle blue, light blue plant is dipping its leaf into the cup to share and have a taste. <laughs> oh yeah, lots of fun little stuff like that in this one that makes me happy. And these are like catching raindrops. I had just um, donated a different painting for the Australian bushfire and so maybe that came in. So many things, you know, that just weave their way together and, and yeah, it's fun. So this was an older painting that had been sitting aside for some time, sometime last year. I had done the first layer, which these kind of landscapey um, lines are from. And then I didn't know where to go with it. I wasn't in love with it, but I didn't know what to do next. I took a break from it. I liked it, but I wasn't like I am now, super in love with it, excited about it. Like it, it, it has come alive and it livens me up and lightens me up. And that feels really good. So it wasn't there <laughs> last year. And I had debated, was it done or not? Well, anyway, when I came back to it, and decided to just play with it, really let loose and be free and just dump some ink over here and see what happened, watch the flow. This is what evolved. And so that freedom is in there too, maybe energy. Yeah, it's a happy one, makes me happy. And it makes it made me wanna dance when I was finishing it, it made me wanna get up and dance and, and it, that's that party energy to me. And it's not about drinking alcohol, <laughs> like you could put, um, sorbet in there refreshing or you could put soup in there savory and warm and rich if it's cool and dreary like it is where i'm at right now actually the sun is just finally starting to peek through today which is nice um so it's not about that necessarily kind of party it's about all those other healthy aspects of the party and celebration and community and celebrating community and maybe that um energy helped inspire it because I've been more active in the group of artists that I host on Facebook and interacting there and even just myself reaching out more through social media to kindred spirits um, coming out of my shell a little bit maybe like this flower a little more 
and um, so there's that community and that kind of celebration, community celebration coming together. The party, it's not a party of one. <laughs> and that energy feels good and fun and healthy and nourishing. So yeah, that is some of the power and the potential of the creative process and art. So this one transformed from that layer that had just been sitting there to this one that is so full of life to me that that kind of vi vitality that kind of energy and celebration obviously and the energy of transformation though this is a flower and not a butterfly coming out of it which is just fun and you know they go through their own transformation when they sprout out of a seed and grow and thrive so I did record the process for this one and if that interests you it's not for everyone I get it everyone is creative but everyone has all different ways of expressing it, it could be cooking or dancing or writing it's so many different ways music is my husband's and oh I love it I get to dance along um, but for me this is one of my favorites and if that is kind of calling to you or speaks to you then I would love to have you join me especially if you might have piles of paintings like I did already sitting around that are ready to be transformed that's what this particular uh, offering is going to be about the art of transformation and the transformation of art so it's about the art of living the spiritual aspect and the creative process and how that can kind of support us in the art of living, the magic and the medicine that can be found there, and the ways that we can explore and heal and celebrate through the canvas, play and pray and, hmm, yeah, discover, <laughs> full of so much potential and possibility. So this one is gonna be part of that course about the art of transformation. It'll be fine for beginners as well if you don't already have piles of paintings around, and I have this one now available as um, prints in my site as well. I haven't decided if I'm gonna let the original go, but I probably will to a home that loves it as much as I do. <laughs> because I trust that I'm not meant to hold on to all these piles of paintings, but I do occasionally have to hold on to one because it just, at least for a time frame. To have the original because there's something special about the originals sometimes there's little bits of shimmering paint within it that you don't get in a print and I just love this one that's on the wood that's my favorite surface to work on it's more expensive so I don't get to do it as often um, but it is one of my favorites so anyway that's a lot of the things I have to offer and most of all my love my joy sharing the wonder of this life and all it's bitter and all it's sweet and beautiful and broken and craziness. <laughs> I'm falling in love with it anyway. I did have one more thing to say. <laughs> I almost always have one more thing to say. Thank you for seeing me, for letting me share. That's not what it was, but thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, it had this message it wanted the word linger and I kept singing about lingering and so I wrote it in very lightly in pencil right there linger and I'm not sure if I'm gonna add to it or not but it was saying linger in love let love linger here and that feels like something worth celebrating and um, it was that invitation to linger that I did with the painting and I kept hearing more and more with it even that I did just at the beginning today sharing with you more yet so these studio stories are going a little longer than I might have intended and maybe they won't all be that way hopefully they won't because I know that in our pace of life we don't always have the time to do that but if you've stuck with me this far, thank you so much for sharing your time with me in this way, for lingering <laughs> with me and with this painting. 
and with the love that I have to share and that it is infused with. So I wanted to share that. And on that note, may we linger in love and let love linger with us. So I went and got a glass of some sparkling water instead of champagne because I don't drink that much anymore and because it's the middle of the day. <laughs> I choose paint bottles instead of wine and champagne bottles these days. But anyway, sparkling water and a fun festive glass to say salud. <laughs> hmm.